Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to use video AI, so this will be a full tutorial for beginners step by step. Step number one is to visit their website using the link in the description. What's really cool is if you use that link, you can get a free trial. Step number two, we need to click on sign up here in the right hand corner. Then what you can do is just log in through email. Alright guys, we are now in the video AI dashboard. It's going to ask us a couple questions here to help personalize our experience. So just answer these. So if you take a look on the left hand side here, we have all these tabs and that's how we're going to navigate around this video AI dashboard. To first do our first video, click on new project right here and it says let's create some clips. All we have to do is paste our YouTube link here. So I'm going to go to YouTube and find my YouTube channel. Then I'm going to copy the video link from this video right here. By the way, this is a channel on 3D printing. It's my personal channel. Then all I'm going to do is go back to the video AI dashboard here and I'm going to right click and paste this link and then click import. Then I'm going to let all these settings be on their own because I trust video.ai. I've used this tool before and it works great. So then just click on generate clips. And this just should take a second here and it's actually going to generate videos for us. So if you're unaware, Video AI turns our long form YouTube videos into short form vertical reels like you see on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook and such. So I just got an email from Video AI that my clips are done. So we're back in the dashboard here and let's go and take a look at what these look like. All right, so it's made six different vertical reels based on my four and a half minute long video. Let's take a look at what these look like just to kind of give a review on like what the videos are and what I think of them. So we have the A1 Mini, we have just the A1, and then we have the P1S. All right, so that one looks really good. Let's take a look at this one. 3D printing can be extremely overwhelming, especially when trying to pick... Okay, so some of that was off, so like the where the video showed up on the video itself, but that's pretty common here. All I would do in this case was go and edit this, and then see if I can move that around a little bit. So the things that I can edit of the clip here are on the left hand tabs over here. So it says templates here. We can change the actual template of what the captions and stuff look like and they can move around and so forth. You can do modern, viral, minimal. Then we have the subtitles. We can change the effects of these, which are essentially the captions, which is really cool. Then we click on elements here. We can add logos, we can add outros, we can add media, which is really cool. And if you have the paid version of Video AI, you can unlock the stock image adder, which is essentially like, say if your video got kind of boring in different sections, you could add stock footage to it, which really helps. Then the text, you can add text wherever you want, but I feel like with the captions, you're probably not even gonna need text if we're being honest. Then the background, they have the background remover and such. You can use custom backgrounds. This is a really cool feature here. So again, you can just change pretty much everything. And essentially, if I click on templates here and I wanna click here, I can move, say if like a section of your video wasn't in frame, what you can do is just move it over. That's kind of what I was talking about when like I needed sections of it in frame. All right, so let's go back to the other clips here. Let's take a look at this one. So yes, one brand stands out in particular and especially for beginners. So yeah, these clips are pretty good, man. I'll be using these. What's really cool is we can actually take these videos directly within the dashboard here and we can upload them to social media. So if we, if we click down here where it says share, we can either download this video or we can share it. And what you can do here is you can connect your social media accounts and you can directly publish from here. And then a lot of times you can schedule it as well, which is really helpful. So guys, my review on this tool is pretty good. I like this. It's really comparable to like Opus Clip or some of the other comparison alternatives. Again, if you use my affiliate link to sign up in the description, you'll get a free trial to try this tool out. I have 10 YouTube channels, so I'm constantly looking for tools like this to be like taking care of my short form content. Cause what I can do is concentrate on long form, then I can use AI tools like this to create reels and then I can just send them off and just publish them. Like this took, this just made me six reels that I didn't, I didn't have before. It's extremely easy. All you have to do is go to the dashboard, click on new project, and then just uh, paste the video link here and then click go create clips. And it's literally that simple. There's a bunch of customizations. You can add your logos on here. There's all kinds of stuff. You have the new planner, which is really cool. Uh, it's essentially like a, like I was telling you guys, you can directly take your reels from he, from the dashboard and then directly upload them to your social media accounts and schedule them. A little secret tip, if you can publish one reel every single day on all your social media platforms for as many days consecutively as possible, it is going to, your growth is gonna do this because these social platforms love daily uploads. A little secret tip for me. Yeah guys, this tool is amazing. I give it a eight out of 10 as far as reviews. I like it in comparison to all the other alternatives. Hopefully this tutorial helped you learn how to use video AI. Again, my affiliate link will be in the description you'll get a free trial all right guys make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one